Okay, so here we are. This is my Windows Home Server version one. Uh, sitting in an unfinished basement in a closet. So I have to actually use a light to get so you can kind of see the Leon Lee case. Um, and on top of that, I just purchased a uh, three terabyte hard drive. So I'm going to I'm going to try to move a lot of data with that instead of over the network and you'll see why in a little bit so just give you an idea uh, since I don't have another case and I adore this case we can look inside of this case and here's the old dual processor AMD I have to use a light like I'm a miner and you can see all the hard drives that are in the data pool or drive extender pool and up top are the main drives um, really nothing special it's a really nice case extremely big uh, my APC battery backup and back in this you can see where we have the cat 6 coming in and behind that's my Insteon uh, M control uh, modules so that's pretty much the setup now the problem obviously with this uh, whole movement is going to be getting everything from version 1 to version 2 or 2011 but I'm still going to use the same case and that's where the challenge comes in and we'll go and uh, see our nice new hard drives. Okay here you'll see we just got a shipment in of uh, five two terabyte EARS Western Digital Drives uh, along with that you'll find the High Point uh, Rocket Raid card and it's really small you really think it's going to be a lot bigger uh, until you get it in and I'm sorry about the poor video quality I'm using a flip and I'm holding it and uh, that's pretty much it now if you see on the back you only have two SAS uh, slots or connectors here so you have to purchase the breakout cables so I got two sets here they are uh, four connectors each for each SAS connector so we'll use that to set it up. But the main problem here, if you're like me and have one case you want to use for version 2011, we're sitting here with a test box, a really small one. But the hardware in here, as far as the CPU and everything, memory, all that's going to go with us into the new case. So, and then transferring the data over from version one to here should be, uh, kind of tricky if we're not going to go do it over the network or we can so the basis of this is we're going to build the raid uh, we'll get it all set up and we're going to move since we have a lot of overhead we're going to have 10 terabyte with a raid 5 hours so we're not going to have all that room to use for the raid but we have more than enough uh, space here to cover what's on my V1 so the idea is to move everything over to the raid and for that short amount of period, move it back into some extra drives we'll put into the box to use for our you know normal data drives, shared drives, um, you know things Since of that we have nature. More than enough room uh, with this RAID. Uh, what we're going to do is try to get all the data off the version one server onto this RAID on the 2011 server, and then move all the hardware into the new case. And there's a lot of people out there who are not going to swing all the money for a second case like I didn't. So we need to find a way to do this and not destroy all our data. We got a one, you know, basically a one-shot deal on this. Uh, even with a three terabyte USB drive, I cannot hold all the data on that drive that I have. Videos are extremely big. They can hold most of my music and my home videos and things of that nature, but... Uh, as far as my other collections, it's just not enough for that 3 terabyte. So we have to do two passes or we have to do it through the network. And that's what we'll, we'll try to find out what works the best. 